Hello and welcome back. Well, I've had a few questions on my uh, kind of my test aquaponics system, um, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video on that. This is a system um, set up by a Bright Agritech, and if you haven't watched their videos or seen any of their stuff, you need to do that. Check them out. Lots of great information for the beginner to the advanced, and uh, Bright Agritech, Agritech, and I'll put a link in the description for them. Uh, but on the front here, I've got uh, four of their zip grow towers, um, which work very good. Um, and then I've got one tower that I'm experiment, experimenting with here um, to kind of make a little different system. So let's start with uh, overall, this is a 55 gallon plastic barrel. And I've just got the top, top uh, cut off here. And down here in the sump, I've got fish in my sump here too. Uh, every time my son goes to town he seems to want to bring back some more goldfish so there's lots of them in here um, <clears throat> so on the bottom here this is just a tote and my pump comes up down here circulates up around the top here and then on each tower it's got a quarter inch line that's just tied in there and feeds in each tower and then the uh, water runs up here into the tank and this gets a lot of aeration. Um, this grow media that's in here helps take out the solids and uh, provide aeration and uh, beneficial bacteria that can grow in there very well. And then uh, the drain is just a three quarter inch pipe coming up there with an inch and a half stand pipe around it. And I'll take that off so you can kind of see that. So this pipe here just comes off and it's got grooves cut in the bottom so the solids can go up around it. And they go up in there and drain into the pipe there. And then that just runs down to the sump. And I do have an air stone on this also, just as kind of a backup system. And right now I've got some lettuce and kale. Um, I've harvested quite a bit off of those already. And they've been going quite a while. Some need to be replanted. But the, they're doing very well. In this tower over here, I had some <laughs> lettuce I just uh, kind of let go, went up about three foot, four foot, and just kind of see what it would do. And, you know, I got those cut off and kind of split that apart, but I think that'll just pull back once I take that out. Um, so we'll, now on the, the tower that I'm experimenting with, I'm using just a four inch standard PVC and then um, some 45 degree angle, inch and a half pipe plugged in there with uniseals and this is what uh, what that is so just a standard fitting piece of inch and a half cut and then I put a little dam on the end there to kind of help the water catch on there and then drip off because as it drips off the first one it drips fills it up and then drips down to the next one and just on down the line so the drain up on top here, let me pull that off and I'll show you that. So I've just got this standard cap, goes on there and holes drilled into it. But the water just drips in there. You can see the root system down in there pretty good. So that's working very well. And I've just been using Rockwell cubes. I'll pull one of these out here so you can see the root mass on there. That's just some kale. So the advantage I think with this tower I'm looking at here is on this three foot section I can get uh, eight plots, eight plants going in there. Whereas on the three foot zip grow I can only get about four or five. Uh, when I do a full scale I'll have those will be uh, a five foot section. So I'll be able to get quite a bit more per square foot. So that's the idea anyhow. I'll probably do a video on that later and give you an update on how that's going. So anyhow, that's uh, my little test aquaponic system. So if you'd like to make my day, please uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Any questions, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Where are you at, fishies? Come on up. Come on. Come on. Where are you at? Come on. Come to daddy.